Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the For a Handful of USB Challenge in Haven Island. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And uh, if you've missed any videos that I've covered so far, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of videos that I've covered so far for Haven Island. So for this one, we're going to bring along the lockpick coin. Uh, we're going to bring along the tranquilizer, but I don't even use it anyway, so it does not really necessary to bring the tranquilizer. But I'm going to play it on casual mode to make things a little bit easier for you and me. So, first things first, what we usually have to do during these challenges is head to the villa. We need to go and get the USB and we need to give them to both uh, Ludmila Vetrova and Tyson Williams. We need to give them the USB to both people. But uh, obviously if we're going to give the USB to one of them, one of them has to die so we can get the USB back. So we're going to give it to Tyson first because he, he is going to be closest to the USB itself. So we're heading straight to the villa and getting ourselves a disguise and we're going to try and retrieve the USB first and then we'll go ahead and uh, conduct the rest of the uh, challenge. So once we actually do get to the villa, we can use our lockpick to get through the door. We don't have any cameras to worry about, so we don't have to take care of those or anything like that, because we are on casual mode. But we are going to get the disguise the usual way, by, uh, by just grabbing a coin from our inventory, throwing a coin underneath the stairs, and waiting for patiently for the, the guard that's conveniently placed to uh, give it to us, to donate to it. He loves donating his clothes to me. Pretty much do it in every single video. <laughs> when a lot of challenges require um, coming over here and getting this disguise, it becomes a little bit stale, doing the same thing repetitively. But it is what it is. So I'm just going to grab this disguise real quick, and then we're going to go and grab the keycard from the table just over in the opposite area. So any opposite area is going to be a uh, keycard just on the table right here. And then we can go down into the basement area, and that's where the USB stick is going to be. We'll use the keycard on this little, little hatch. Let's climb all the way down to the bottom of the ladder. So the second door on your right is going to be an open area where a guard is like polishing his shoes or whatever he's doing. And uh, in there we're going to have to cause a little bit of a distraction because this guy can be a little bit buggy. Sometimes he's floating in midair. So uh, we're going to put a coin just right here just to get his attention. And then lock pick this locker with the door closed. Make sure the door is closed. Then I'm going to grab the USB from the locker itself. Now on some occasions uh, you can actually do that without even distracting him. but. It's just one of them things, better to be safe than sorry. We're heading up the stairs now, um, because we need to make a phone call to uh, Luke Miller. So we're going to make a phone call from here, because we need to meet her in the restaurant. Miss Petrova, it's Tobias Reaper. I read your note. Excellent. I reviewed your file prior to your arrival and found it very intriguing. I have an offer for you. If you're interested, you can find me over at the restaurant. I'll keep it in mind. Wonderful. I hope to see you there. So once we've done that phone call, we're now going to head upstairs and give the USB to uh, Tyson Williams. Depending on where he is, uh, we may have to wait uh, because uh, he might be in a restricted area. And you'll see what I mean once we get up there. Just be careful coming out of this room as well, because this is a trespassing area. So we are going to head upstairs now. And for me, he is going to be in the corner room. He's always here for when I do it. So as long as you've not uh, been too slow, then you should have this guy right here in the, in the, in the corner room. He should be in here for about another 20 seconds or so. And then he does eventually come out. We are just staying out of that line of sight from that guard outside because he's an enforcer. But uh, once uh, Williams has finished, uh, you know, burying his head in his hands, he does eventually come out the door. And we can go ahead and uh, just walk up to him and talk to him and give him the USB stick. Mr. Williams, opportunity. I understand you were looking for this. He can't wait. He can't wait driver. to take that USB stick. He reminds me of a shopkeeper in the me. 
taken care of. Like you ask, you ask him uh, how much is that? How much is that Snickers bar? Come with me. He's like 60p, like and he holds uh, holds his hand it out. Good work. Just like that. Because he doesn't price anything in his shop. I don't know why. Then we ask the price, and he asks, "Why do you want to know?" I mean, what a stupid question. So anyway, not for me jabbering around. Uh, we just need to follow this guy into the basement area, the hidden, the, the bunker area. Where he's going to do is promote you, and he is going to get rid of this guard. Get out of my way. He's going to get rid of that guard, and then he's going to be left all alone. He's going to put this USB in his safe, and we need to go and get that back. But we need to let this chain of events actually play out because uh, he does have it the guard and we just have to wait for that to happen. Now if you've already gotten here and I found out if you've already gotten here and you've already lock picked that safe, the safe will always be open. So even though he puts it in there, um, it's kind of funny really. I don't actually know where that safe combination is, but we've got a lock pick anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm not sure how you can lock pick a combination safe, but there you go. That key on that table there is for that locker just behind us. There's got a disguise in there for the bodyguard. The same bodyguard that's in our room here. The same disguise in there. We don't need that though. So we're waiting for the guard to completely leave and then the door's closed behind him. And that's when we can go ahead and take out the target. Well, you don't necessarily have to actually. But uh, if you don't, he will see you lock the tech safe. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. I'm gonna hide his body just as a safe Two measure anyway. Remain. So now you wanna go ahead and lock pick the safe, then grab that USB drive back out of the safe. And now we need to go and meet up with Lugmila, but we can't just do it in any any disguise. We need to put our suit back on. So uh, for me, I chose the uh, Futo suit, which is the ninja suit. And uh, th that's how uh, Lumi is going to recognize me. I almost thought this wasn't going to work because it's an ninja suit. But uh, apparently it does. But we need to go and put that, put that suit back on, whatever your default suit was. And now we're going to meet Lumila in the restaurant area. She should be waiting for you right now. Hopefully you haven't been too slow. I'm not sure how long she stays there, but she doesn't stay there forever. She does eventually just give up and then just walks away. I'm not even sure if she comes back. I'm not, you might have to make a second phone call if that is the case. I'm not completely sure on that. But, um... What you got to do really is just approach her and then talk to her. She's standing up because she's waiting for us to talk to her. Just waiting for the prompt. Mr. Reaper. So good to see you. Here we go. And once we've finished the conversation, she's going to walk away, and that's when you want to engage in the conversation again, and then uh, she will tell you to meet her in the spa. So we're just skipping that conversation there because you don't really want to listen to it again. So again, just talk to her again as she's walking away. So all we have to pretty much do at this point is go and meet her at the spa area and then we will uh, freely hand over the USB stick and uh, it should be no dramas. I'm just going to show you exactly where the spa is just in case you haven't uh, been there yet. And uh, if you are new to this map then you won't be able to access the spa without going through this opportunity and talking to Lugmila because she books you into the I'm spa Mr. here. Reaper. I have an appointment. Ah, yes, Mr. Reaper. You can go right in. Miss Petrova should be here shortly. So without that permission, without us having to talk to that receptionist, we won't be able to get in this area. This whole area will be trespassing. You can actually wait for Ludmila here if you want to, just uh, sit in this chair. She can walk quite slowly, so uh, I'm just going to skip ahead again. So when she comes in, she's going to tell you to follow her. So uh, we're going to follow her into this massage room area. And then momentarily we'll be alone. Wow, let me know if you need someone to work on those knots, dude. So once this uh, masseur has left the room, she will hold her hand out to you stop the, the shopkeeper. Can I have and then you can give her the USB stick. And that's when your challenge for the top right corner so will pop up for you. 
And that is how you do a for a handful of USB challenge. Completed. And that is going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are brand new to the channel. And hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Or clicking the link in the description for the full details of all the different perks you can get with becoming each member, each tier of, uh, of the membership. Shout out to the Arjao and the Shafe for become top tier Psycho Assassin members of the channel. If you've missed any videos that I've covered so far in Haven Honor, there's a link in the description of the full playlist of videos. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.